All right. All right. Let's uh, a little slow. A little bit slow. Well, good evening. Uh, welcome to the High Park Town Board regular meeting and public hearing for Monday, June 3rd, 2019. Uh, let's pledge allegiance to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I have a motion to accept the minutes of May 20th meeting? I'll make a motion to accept them. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. All right, so tonight we have a public comment on resolutions and town business only. Uh, note the time limit would be three minutes, and we also do have a public hearing. So do we have, um, do we do the public hearing first, or do we? 705. Okay. So if anybody would like to comment on tonight's resolutions, uh, we can do this so now. Just come on up and state your name, address, and uh, up here. This is only my second time back. Ah, please, come on up. How are you? Good. Uh, Joe Rinaldi, 21 Bircher Avenue. Is this now the time to talk about, like, the issue with the property next to my house? Sure, we can okay. do that. Sure. <clears throat> so I'm just coming back. I was here during the winter for the house next to me that's been abandoned for, like, five years. I know there's been some work going on. There's another letter up, um, and I think the owner's been contacted. I'm just kind of curious what's going on with it. We had the, this weekend, the neighbor on the other side was cutting his trees down some more on top of the dilapidated buildings and stuff like that. Um, and I don't want to whine, but it's eyesore. I live right next to it. My kids didn't have to grow up next to it, that kind of stuff. I didn't have to grow up to that kind of stuff growing up and see that kind of stuff, and I'm kind of curious when it's going to be resolved. Um, I also have some other issues, too, um, that I'd like to get to if I get the chance. But first, that, if you guys have anything on it. OK. And that was number 21? So I'm 21. You're 21. Yeah, so it's the house. If you're looking at my house, to right. the left, or okay. what's left of it. Yeah. There's a trailer in the back. There's a dilapidated right. garage and a dilapidated house. OK. You wouldn't have a lot of rats and stuff? Yes. Yep, exactly. Lots, lots of rats. Now there's mattresses and stuff on the front yard, but the grass is at least growing, so it's hiding the garbage. Um, I suspect there's coyotes in the back underneath the trailer. I've seen them, and now there's a big hole going under the back of it that kind of looks like something going in there. So I do have a shotgun. I would like to not have to use it on a coyote. Sure. All right, and, and then uh, we'll get back to you on that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have two other things. Sure, so, okay? absolutely. Just curious about the road. The road is in really bad condition. The blacktop, like really bad. Um, just curious if there's any plan to maybe upgrade it a little bit and you know maybe fix the saddles going on the side. And then lastly, I have five kids. Four of them are under the age of eight. People drive like jerks on that road. I don't know what can be done, okay. um, but something rather than nothing would be awesome. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Any comments? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, my name is Jeff Geisler. I own 28 Bircher Avenue. Um, Mr. Rinaldi, uh, I guess, solved the problem with the uh, grass issue. Uh, I have an issue. Uh, the man at 27 Bircher Avenue uh, on Labor Day, on Memorial Day, he decided to cut down some trees on his property. Uh, one of the trees struck one of the buildings at 25 Bircher Avenue. I called the uh, High Park Police. They took a report. I tried to get an incident report from the town police. They refused to give me one because I'm not on the incident report, even though I called. Okay. Uh, this gentleman at 27 has been putting debris on 25 for the last year and a half that I've seen. He cut the two trees on Memorial Day. He took all the brush and the tree itself and put it on 25 Bircher Avenue. If 25 is going to be a dump site, then I'll take it as a dump site. But I don't believe that he has the authority to dump it and the police should tell him or the town board should tell him to move his debris to make that dwelling not worse than what it sees feasible of a dump uh, you know that that is an issue that the port that the board needs to address to number 27 I don't know what his name is but 
I have video and photos of him cutting that tree and hitting that structure. <coughs> I try to reach out to Anthony Hogan, which owns that property at 20, at 12 Tobacco Lane. I talked to his son about the issue. Uh, him and his father said that they're gonna address the issue with the people at 27 and that I should address the town board because the town board has been doing stuff, I guess, with cutting the grass. Mm -hmm. So if the town board can do something with this guy, I mean, he's been doing it for over a year. And it's not like it just did it this time. He lined the whole property line next to the stream with debris that he cut down, and he keeps putting it on 25. And 25 is getting to be like uh, mm -hmm. an eyesore mm -hmm. for, for, for the residents of Bircher Avenue. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody from the town board should go by and take a look at the property. Okay. The other issue is the rats, like Mr. Uh, Vinaldi said. I uh, paid Craig Thomas to come to my house for the rodents, and I believe the rodents are coming from that dwelling that needs to be issued. Okay. I mean, I've, I haven't been here since December the 3rd. Uh, it's been almost six months, the grass issue, the mattresses, the rodents, and the appearance of 25 Bircher Avenue. Uh, nothing's been done since I've been here, for real. And December 3rd was the last time I was here. The grass has not been cut. The mattresses have not been moved. The tires have not been moved. The washer machine has not been moved. I, I don't understand what's, what's taking place with the town. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'll get with, uh, with Rich. I know that I, we were um, I did, I did talk to Rich. I did talk to Rich about the issue with the tree being cut and all the debris and, you know, I know he's got a burn and he's part-time, but somebody needs to do something with, with 25 and the stuff being constantly dumped. Debris and, and garbage. Right. You know, I mean, I, I live on a tree like, no, like Winoli. If sure. You guys don't. I mean, sure. it, it's, I don't think either anybody up there would want to live next door or on that street. Right. And see that every day. No, I day in I and day out. The that. grass is 29 inches. I measured it this morning. Right. 29 inches is way, way too much. Great. I know the, the supervisor is away. I know she was dealing with um, Bircher Avenue with Don and with Rich. Um, I know the town attorney. Um, we were looking at you know tearing down some of those buildings there. Um, but I will get with the councilman up there too, and we'll we'll figure out what's going on. And Does somebody uh, need to mow it? Because I will mow the place. <laughs> I even told Rich that I would give five thousand to get rid of that place. Right. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm dead nice serious. I will that. donate sure. five thousand to get rid of that structure. Sure. All right, great. We'll take your comments, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll go with them. For okay. Sure. And the next meeting is the third of next month, right? That is correct. Yes. Hopefully, the grass can get mowed by then. I would hope so. Okay. Thank you for so. your time. Thank you. Any other comments on tonight's resolutions or town business? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, great. So we'll uh, figure that out with Berkshire Avenue. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then we have a public hearing. So, uh, Madam Clerk, if you could uh, read that, it'd be appreciated. Well, we just need to open the floor for public comment. Oh. It's a continuation. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so we'll open uh, any comments for the public hearing for tonight? I don't believe so. Uh, so I'd like a, a motion to uh, keep it open. And then another motion for uh, July 15th. Uh, keep it open to the okay, July 15th. Okay, I'll make a motion to keep the public hearing open. And then we have another meeting, another reading on July 15th. July 15th. Okay. And I second both those motions. Perfect. And all in favor? Aye. 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 So July 15th it is. And then we also need to make an amendment um, for our agenda. We're going to pull uh, number eight. Uh, for the entrance onto the property located at 6 Abbey Lane. Uh, they did mow it, so we don't have to go on there and uh, take care of that. That was uh, taken care of already. So mm -hmm. I'd like a motion to pull uh, resolution number eight. I'll make a motion to pull resolution eight. And all in favor? Second. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry, guys. It's, it's like okay. first yeah. time for me here. Yeah, you're, you're doing, doing great. Great, great job. All right. So uh, let's move on to the resolutions and uh, go from there. Resolution 63-1 of 2019, resolution authorizing Nunk Pro Tunk, the attendance of Kathleen Moss, zoning administrator at the Hudsonian and Hudson at the Hudsonian and Hudson River Estuary Program Small Streams Values, Threats, and Protection Workshop. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 63-2 of 2019. 
resolution approving budget revisions in the town, to the Town of High Park for the period of May 2019, budget revisions number 2019-05. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 63-3 of 2019, resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to accept the 2019 New York State Office of Children and Family Services Youth Development Grant through the Dutchess County Department of Community and Family Services for the Hyde Park Recreation Learn to Swim program, and also authorizes the Town of Hyde Park Town Supervisor to execute any and all documentation in regards to said grant. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 63-4 of 2019, resolution acknowledging the retirement of the Town of Hyde Park Recreation Director Kathleen Davis. Second. And I really want to thank uh, Kathleen Davis for her years of service. She has really done a fantastic job over there and the, the trails I'm on all the time and has really been a good steward for the trail system. And I just did the end to end on Saturday and she was volunteering <laughs> over there. So uh, we wish her uh, Great success and uh, a lot of fun in her retirement. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 63-5 of 2019. Resolution acknowledging the resignation of Town of Hyde Park Police Assistant Michael Travis. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 63-6 of 2019. Resolution authorizing the Town of Hyde Park Town Board to appoint part-time police assistant Mark uh, Passantino to the Town of Hyde Park Police Department. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And Mark is here tonight, so Mark, congratulations, and uh, welcome on board, and uh, stay safe out there, and we're really looking forward to uh, you serving the Town of High Park, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. And then you'll get with uh, Donna Swearman and all that? Yeah, I'll take them down as soon as you Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Lieutenant. Thank Thanks, you. Mark. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Resolution 63-7 of 2019, resolution authorizing the town clerk and highway superintendent to solicit blacktop bids for the 2019 road construction season. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And this one was pulled, so. Yep. Uh, That's it. I guess that is it. I want to uh, thank the High Park Recreation for a, another beautiful Memorial Day parade. It was uh, well attended, and uh, it's always good uh, recognizing and serving the the veterans and remembering those who fell for our freedom. So yeah. uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful day all around. So I'll make a motion to, to close. Motion. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Time is it. I thought we did. 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 I thought we